Colombia has one of the longest running internal conflicts in the world. Decades of extensive political violence have left families missing relatives and communities broken apart. One of the neglected impact of conflict is on the mental health of population, especially on children and young people. Which is why the focus of our research is to map what mental health provision exists for young people in Colombia's Pacific region and beyond, and what part culture and community can play in helping to heal intergenerational and emotional trauma. We chose the Pacific region because of its recent history of violence and also because of the vibrant and beautiful cultural artistic expressions produced by its Afro-descendant and indigenous communities. We began our research with the institutional landscape, whilst there is a progressive approach to the mental health policy and strategy, there is also some room for improvement in terms of providing more access to state services, in connecting with and recognizing the role of community organizations outside of the healthcare system, in preventing an emerging youth support gap caused by policies focusing only on younger children or adults in addressing unequal distribution and geographical gaps in smaller cities, rural areas, and areas impacted by conflict. And finally, as historical violence creates family, community, and even intergenerational trauma in considering a whole population approach to mental health. Next, we focus on three cities in the Pacific region where there was limited provision of mental health services given by public and private institutions, including international organizations. Here, we saw many community organizations and schools providing spaces for participation, as well as emotional and cultural expressions that would benefit from more connection with the state support as well as funding and recognition. These psychologically safe spaces were vital to the mental health of traumatized young people and those whose connection to nature, their community and ancestors and family have been lost. Finally, we work with young people themselves through a community organization responding to the need for more of these psychologically safe trauma healing spaces we help them to use abandoned spaces to build community gardens filled with traditional and symbolic plants, to create murals showing memories and images from the natural environment, and statements about what good mental health means to them and why it is important. This not only provided medicine and food plants, but also a chance to reconnect with their ancestral knowledge, their community and the land. We also, help the young people to use these new spaces to write and stage a play about memory, reconnection and mental health. Through our research, we saw that there is a need for support for community organizations, teachers and schools, and state institutions and international organizations to help them work together to regrow social tissue in order to heal trauma and improve and maintain youth mental health. We saw that while specific services for particular groups are very important because conflict affects the mental health of whole populations, more could be done to support those populations to heal together as a whole.